During the last six years, a lot has happened to Michael McComish on the wrestling mat. But this was a first. I heard like I heard the chains that were holding it up. I heard them, and the next thing I knew, it was really bright, and I was like, "Oh, get this thing off of me!" And McComish noticed a few things right away. It felt like the light weighed about a hundred pounds, and everyone around him was in a panic. And I could see the blood coming off of me, and then I got off. They made me get off the mat, so I didn't get any blood on the mat. But it was they had like a whole handful of paper towels, and it was still going through the paper towels. He had to have about 20 stitches in two places on his head. We always say I have a really hard head, and if it would have hit me anywhere than my head, I would have been in trouble. Madison has hosted the Madison Square Garden match every year for the last 27 years. The school will soon have a new gym, and activities director Bud Postma says there are no plans to stop the event. It was indeed a, um, a scary situation for everybody involved, um, but we are thankful to report that the student athlete um, injured in the accident is recovering and is in school today. Postma didn't say how or why the light fell, nor did he say how this would affect how the light is hung in the future. McComish says there are no hard feelings, but he does have one complaint. The only thing that really made me kind of upset was that I didn't actually get a wrestle because that was my one and only chance to wrestle that night and I didn't get to.